Hey there, so are you a teacher and you are thinking about becoming a real estate agent? Well, you are in luck because I did just that. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some of my experiences from transitioning from being an educator to a real estate agent, and we're gonna hop into it right now. Hey there, Mariah Curla here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if this is your very first time here. I help real estate agents scale their business the modern way by leveraging the power of social media. If that is of interest to you, consider subscribing down below so you don't miss the weekly videos. I hear from real estate agents just like you all the time who are looking to grow and scale their businesses the modern way. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email if you are wanting to build your business that same way. All right, so where are all my educators at? Hey, Hooray! so I am sure if you are watching this, you are an educator, you are a teacher, and you've been thrown around the idea of like, hey, I think I might be getting rid of my real estate license, or I heard so-and-so, they got their real estate license and they're a teacher, and I'm wondering how they can juggle both of them together, or how can I transition out of education into real estate? Well, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. So first and foremost, I came from a long line of teachers. Both of my parents were elementary educators. My mother-in-law is an educator. My sister-in-law is an educator. My aunt is an educator. I So naturally, I decided when I went to college, I decided, hey, I wonder what I should do. I wonder what I should be. I wonder what my major should be for like three point two seconds. And then of course I knew that, yes, I'm going to be an elementary teacher. And that is just what I did. I ended up getting my master's degree in education as well. And then throughout the years, I've just collected different credentials along the way. I've got my PE authorization. I've got my adaptive PE authorization. I've got my autism certificate. I have right similar, I'm sure to you, I've got as many units as you probably could have. I have multiple credentials. I've taught for over 15 years as an elementary teacher. And all while doing this, after my husband and I bought our first home, I looked at him and I said, you know, I should really just get my real estate license and maybe I'll see if I can sell homes like in the summer or on the side or during break. I don't really know what that's all about, but maybe I can just give it a try, right? You might be similar and you might be thinking similar things to you. Well, you were in luck. So what I decided to do, I was a maybe third or fourth year teacher. I, you know, am making my steady salary, it's small but steady, right? So I knew I could count on something every single month. Um, but after purchasing our first home and after doing the math and figuring out maybe what the commission was on that house, I realized, oh, that was probably like three months of my teaching salary, maybe even a little bit more than that. So I thought, you know, I really have nothing to lose. Getting a real estate license doesn't cost that much. It doesn't take that many hours and you can do it from home. At the time when I'm kind of dating myself because I have had my real estate license for over 16 years, yes, over 16 years. But when I first got it, they didn't have like the online option. So I actually had to go to the classroom. I sat and did all of my hours in the classroom, which was fine. But now they make it much more convenient by having lots of online options. So you can sit in your house and you can do all of the licensing hours, the pre-licensing hours right from the convenience of your home. So I had gotten my license in California. I was teaching elementary school in California. I was, you know, we had just purchased our first home. I realized, you know, this might be a good side hustle or at least something maybe I should learn more about and I should have in my wheelhouse. So that's exactly what I did. So I ended up going and I took the 135 hours, I think it was at that time of classes. I actually sat in the classroom. Now you can, like I said, you can do it from your house. However, a few years ago, when my family and I decided we were moving from California to Utah, I decided I was going to, you know, get relicensed, but I was going to get my real estate license in Utah. Each state has their own licensing requirements, number of hours, and different tests that you need to take. I know here in Utah, it was 120 pre-licensing hours. 
California was a little bit more than that, but again, it varies by state. However, going through the second time, so I did it first in California, sitting in the classroom. When I got my license here in Utah, I was able to do it from the convenience of my home. So when I would, you know, put the kids down to bed, I would go and I would start working on my classes, right? I would start going through the hours and I was able to complete that. And again, it just depends. It's very self-paced. So you can get it done very quickly or you can draw it out for a long time. I'm one of these people where I'm like, if I start it, I just want to get going and I want to finish it. So I finished it very quickly. And then after that, I took the test, passed the test, and then it was time to start searching for brokerages. Um, but if you are thinking about like, you know, I don't know if I can juggle like the real estate and the teaching and what does that look like? Well, here's the thing with real estate, you are building your own business. So you really get to decide, Hey, I'm going to work a lot or a little, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that. I'm going to, but the great thing about real estate is you get to tailor that schedule around you. So you might make appointments after your school day is done. You might make appointments on your weekends. You might make appointments right on holidays. So depending on when you are going to be meeting with clients, when you are scheduling home tours, when you're doing those different things, a lot of that can be after your school day. And I've had people ask me questions before like, Hey Mariah, can I be a real estate agent and a teacher like simultaneously? How, you know, how does that really work? Well, let me be perfectly honest with you. I taught full time elementary school. I was a third grade teacher for many, many, many years. And then, like I said, I had gotten my real estate license and just kind of dabbled. Like I didn't do that much because I started having kids come along and all of that. And so I really didn't do that much until I got to the point where I was like, you know what? I decided I was not going to be teaching full time because I had just given birth to twins. Yes, just given birth to twins. So I was like, I need to scale back a little bit from teaching. So I scaled back my hours. I was not teaching full time. I taught part time after you know a certain amount of time. I taught part time, but I always kept my real estate license current because I just never knew, right? Well, let me let me tell you this. After you know teaching part time, I was actually teaching fifty percent third grade. And at that time, depending on the month, I may have had one, two or three pro properties under contract. I love teaching. So, but it got to the point where I realized my teaching salary, teaching 50% and the houses that I was closing, you know, month after month, I realized it like financially, it didn't even make sense for me to continue teaching. However, that teaching salary can be very predictable. You know, the last day of the month, that check is going to directly be deposited into your account if that's the way you've set it up. And so for me, I loved knowing like, this is the amount I'm getting, these are my benefits. I loved knowing that. So the idea of going from certainty to, I don't know if I'm gonna close a home. Oh, I don't know if that contract's gonna go through, was a little, well, was a little bit scary to be totally honest. And so, but after a while and after I did this for a few years, I started realizing like, okay, this teaching, I love it, but it's become more of a hobby. And I almost want to bet more on myself and my business and growing that real estate business. So can you do both? Absolutely. You set your schedule. And so, like I said, you might be working after school. And if you get out at three or three 30, maybe you're, you know, working from four to five or four to six or four to eight or whatever it ends up being. And, but building that real estate business is absolutely realistic and can be a tremendous way to supplement your teaching salary and also a fantastic way to meet more people, help more people, and ultimately help them get into their dream home or help them sell their house so that they can purchase, you know, something else somewhere or they can, you know, relocate to wherever they're wanting to go. So. By really, you know, teachers, I think you make such a good real estate agent because you've got the flexibility, you know about scheduling, you are a people person, you're with people all day long, you're a great communicator. So teachers really have, you know, they really go hand in hand and very nicely, they complement that real estate agent 
very, very nicely. So if you are thinking like, hey, you know, I keep mulling around the idea of like, I wanna be a, you know, I, I really wanna get my real estate license, but I'm not totally sure. And I, you know, I live in this state and I do, I honestly have heard, and I think just because I am, I'm surrounded by teachers, I have had so many teachers in my life, I've had so many incredible mentors in my life, but I've also been an educator for many, many, many years. And once I actually pivoted from, you know, taking that leap, going full-time education, then part-time education, but meanwhile, having my real estate license that whole time and, you know, dabbling here and there, once I finally just transitioned like, okay, I'm going to take my teacher cap off, but really still, you're actually still keeping that, you know, that real estate or the educator hat on because with like with real estate, you are constantly educating your clients. You are constantly sharing and communicating. And, you know, a lot of times clients will come to you and they'll say, Hey, you know, I'm thinking about this or this, but I have no idea. You are the one that still gets to educate them. It just might not be about science or music or reading or writing or math, but it will be, you are educating your clients about real estate and about that whole process, which is such a rewarding thing. So again, if you're thinking, yeah, you know, I'm kind of still on the fence, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. And it really does honestly seem like it wasn't that many years ago that I was just like, okay, I am going full blown into real estate and I'm not looking back. Like I'm just going to give this 110%. And I, and it's funny because I was talking to my mom who, like I said before, was an educator for over 30 years. And she's like, Mariah, you know, I never thought you would like completely leave education and, you know, being that third grade teacher you were for so many years. But yet she's like, I look at you in your real estate career and what you've chosen. She's like, I can't imagine you doing anything else now. And it's just such a perfect fit. So again, like I said, if you are looking to make a transact, you know, transition or you're, you know, just wanting to know more, really, I hear from educators like you, real estate agents like you, and I love to help you. So again, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and it would be my pleasure to chat with you. Take care and have a good one. Bye.